uh, this coming spring, we're going to need a side mower. We just took all I could do to keep it by the last year. It's just uh, that tractor went down. And, uh, this was approved in the budget. It's a budget item. I got the specs right here to send out for review. And I got the local tractor dealerships in town to send it out to. If you want to do it local and not do it off state bill, let, let all our merchants have a shot at it. I agree with that. I mean, I don't I know it's early, but these things right here take time to order and that's the event of the all. It just takes a while to get it all put together. I'd be lucky to have it by spring when we open it second Tuesday of February to have it in by mowing season. And it ain't like you have to spend the money today, you know, it's just maybe we'll have it in by grass first. Do you know how much we have in the budget for it, Bobby? I think we had a little over 100 in there. 130. Yeah. Okay. So how many Delphi tractors would that We've got four tractor leaderships in town. Okay. So yeah, we need to get them. I just think, I mean, it's two of them state bid people anyway. If you bought them state bid, you still be good in town. Just let them have a chance to, to beat it out against each other. No question about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll I got we'll spec sheets here that I think that we need for the tractor. The fourth power tractor, but replacing what I got. Jeremy, you want to touch on this again? I know we're going to delay this to the second meeting or next meeting. I guess I, I presented you with SOGs and just so we can get everything on the up and up. Uh, we all read over, see if y'all have concerns, questions, so that we can have them in place and, and ready to go. So we're going to, we're going to bring, try to have this on the agenda today. Feel free if you have any questions you come across on from what I know. Stacy, you talk to us about the purpose of the new committee for the batting cages. Yes, sir. This is a budget item that I had uh, in last year's this past quarter budget. Um, buying four new batting cages, we've got holes and it needs to be replaced. We've got a safety issue. Uh, we also look at Mr. Jankway uh, donating some pieces of equipment to be able to suspend those batting cages rather than having the poles in a way that, that uh, requires some safety measures. Okay, so that was for the four bat batting cages, yes. Yeah, I mean, I would like to say, well, we really appreciate Brad Jigway donating the yeah. front of the yeah. cages. Yeah. Purchase. Yeah. Uh, uh, Any on the uh, softball turn? Number 10, the USA softball, uh, you have a schedule there uh, tentatively uh, trying to have tournaments here in the center. That's one of my goals of being able to bring people into this town mm -hmm. and, and show off what we do have. Uh, we've got a great complex out there in USA. Uh, softball uh, is looking to have uh, roughly 10 to 15 tournaments this year out there. Uh, it would be basically where they would rent the field and we would get all the concessions. So the field with rental is $100 a day for the field. And all the maintenance and stuff would be done within the rec department. Oh, it's a great idea. Yeah, it's, it's a great idea. Great idea. 
Different restaurants, business, hotel. I make a motion we are for a moment of tournament. Second. All in favor? Uh, and lastly, for you, Stacy, talking about the sponsor signs. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I propose that we keep some of the some of the money that they they uh, they don't they donate two hundred fifty dollars per per businesses. to make all the signs uniform in color rather than having a neon sign and next to a red one and a green one and then a blue one and a white one. We would like for them all to be black with a, with a gold trim as far as the letter so it can stand out. It would obviously enclose a little bit uh, of the complex, make it a little bit more eye appealing. And, uh, um, and if we use those signs for multiple years, that $80 for the sign that we would, it would cost to get it paid for, uh, we can use it over year over year after year after year yeah, with the uh, with their sponsorship. Maybe each can sell three signs or something. Well, they, 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 each team is required to get one team sponsor okay. uh, and it's two hundred and fifty dollars on that fee. If anybody wanted to sign without sending, they just need to get in touch with you. Yes, I've just spoken with Lady. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> uh, yes, and she was talking about when do we need to get in touch uh, with it. I'd send it about two weeks because we'll so You've already sure. sold one of all my Yes, sir. I think so. About the sign up. So. Yes, I'd like to comment on that. I mean, Stacy's really good. Mm -hmm. hey, he really is. Mm -hmm. He's great. He's really a lot of forward thinking, great vision. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Mm -hmm. well, so I, I, I enjoy it. I mean, I really do. I love the game. I, it's yeah. not just it's just not the game of baseball. I like watching the kids play. We were talking about that long. I mean, I, a couple of years ago, I won't say it was about 10 years ago when I was in Talladega as a park director and fixing the fields and getting everything set up and what they had had in the past. And I'm going to call it blim. You know, you get blim baseballs, they're, they're seconds. I call them seconds. And when you put that product on the field and it's top notch, it really, I was, I was watching them run across the field and they had these bright orange and they had, there were the Orioles and they had all the other, it just really, it hit me. You know, it really does. I love watching them play. Now, one thing, I, I like to compete. I do like to compete, you know, and, and I want to be able to make our, our like these coaches who was here earlier, I want to make this town competitive when we go somewhere else. You know, I don't hear of our high school getting past the first and second round of the playoffs. We get in the playoffs, but we don't go anywhere. That's what I want to get past that. Well, I mean, you old school. We well, used to be yeah. senior. We were big, big football, big all style. I know. Two thousand nine, ten years ago, we were. I thought about getting in there. Lately, we have it, but we used to be powerhouse. Yes, but you actually <laughs> love what you do. We appreciate it. I do. I really do. Say, can somebody get a sign if they don't? Well, they would have to pay the two fifty to get a sign. Okay. Yes. I got you. Yeah, that's that. that's paying see, for the sign. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and we were we were discussing it's, earlier. It's you know we got a we got a relatively small town, I guess you would say, but we 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 have Spring Garden and Sand Rock and Hills and Cedar Bluff. They all come here to play, and, and we had. You know, if you go looking at the amount of business we have and the amount, amount of teams that we have that have to get the $250 sponsor, we had 36 Little League teams now, and we had 20 softball teams. So that's 55, 55 businesses. You've got to come up with $250, I think. So it's, it's hard to sell that unless you're getting something for it. But it's either a tax write-off or I, I want to build my business. I want people to know who we are. So that's... That's why I would propose to put those signs. I know we, I, well, I've heard that we did it in the past. Yeah, we have. But I don't know when, when it was gone. I don't know but I would propose to bring it back. And it looks so good when they're uniform. Mm -hmm. I see the black and white writing. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if Sandrock's going to want to buy a black and gold. Well, I want it all the way across 
you know, uniform. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Your job. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. A motion and a second on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five. You just keep five. You just keep five. Yes. You skip one and the five on the end. Oh, five. Five. Or are you saving it? No, no. Yeah, I skip. I mean. Okay. Okay. Just one. I just wonder if you were saving it. So the item I skipped there was about the provisions for the Family Cares Act to, to re reimburse employees that have been out for COVID, sick from the COVID, and we need to. Second. All in favor? Uh-huh. Any opposed? Did I skip the other? No. <laughs> That's the only one. Um, item number 12 is the repair of the back door at the police department. We've been having trouble with for a long time. Kirk, you want to touch on that for us? Yeah, we had it worked on about two, about two or three years ago. And uh, they worked on it as good as they could. The door is actually, I think the building was built in 62, so the equipment, the new equipment that they put on it today, don't work with that door. So I went to Cherokee Glass. Um, they give me a quote on the back door. It's a steel door with a, a small window. And uh, y'all got the, the quote. So it would just make the back of the building more secure, even when we have cold. And we know they'll do a good job. Yeah. Yeah, they have worked on the. Uh, or they put windows in and they've done a real good job of that. So, and that's the only place that, you know, in, in the county that's, that does this. So, we want to stay local. I say we stay local with our local business here in town. So, I agree. Cherokee Glass has always done a good job. Can I make a mark? I'll see. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's me, Mayor's comments. Um, several things to update y'all on. First, I'd like to wish Don Conklin a happy birthday yesterday. Wow. Oh. You know, I never forgot about it. I said, Mark, that's why I'm right. Right. Hey. And I said, what's going on? That's why I had to under retired. Yeah, yeah. What are you, 51? 51. <laughs> Last week, um, Cherry and I met with Patrick Clifton uh, to discuss the, our website. Badly needs updated. Uh, he, he brought along some photos local photo um, pictures of the lake. What was the other one, Sherry? Um, um, really good pictures from the, the bridge. Uh, that had done the bridge from the um, lake. You know, we, we suggested maybe that he be cotton food or whomever get us pictures of some cotton fields. Um, maybe the bluffs up there. I mean, we want to have a collection of professional pictures, five or six professional pictures that we're looking at. And then what we want to do is reach out to the community, any of us that have pictures of Sid Center over the years, to add to the website. Um, but he had some great ideas and really good pictures. We're meeting with him again, I think, tomorrow or Thursday. I think they tomorrow. Are. Thursday. Oh, Wednesday, you say. Well, anyway, besides just the pictures, we're going to totally update the website. Remember, Steve, he just did a website for Jay and did a fabulous job. There it is now. So it's 3 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll try to get back to them. We, we need a song from Teresa. Teresa is supposed to send us some pictures. 
Okay. Yes, she was supposed to. Okay. And I'm speaking of Teresa, I'm meeting with Teresa Thursday, Teresa and uh, and Hayes Thursday morning, and we're going to discuss better ways to try to promote, advertise the Lake Center. I mean, the Chamber is doing a fabulous job. I just think there's other targets we need to hit in Birmingham, in Atlanta, Chattanooga, wherever. That, that we're, not, we're not getting to that. And I don't know whether it's magazine advertising or whatever, but anyway, we're just going to kind of try to brainstorm, come up with some ideas. You know, I think that's uh, we've done it over in Gunnersville. Uh, so we're going to have a discussion on that Thursday morning, but I ask you all as well if you have any thoughts there, how that we can get to some other markets, people that we're not reaching right now. Uh, so perfect time with the COVID and all that. I think there's a lot of folks are going to be looking for second homes or now that they understand they can live elsewhere, looking for homes around the water, mountains, whatever. We're going to do that Thursday morning. Uh, last Friday, we closed on the property at the industrial park. Both tracks have been sold. Um, I think he said he's going to try to start construction mid March. Sometime in March is when he's going to target. They're going to target mid March, start his building, bring the new business into town. And that's good. Excited about that. Mm -hmm. Lastly, update on the concession stand. We're not ready to present anything yet, but we're getting really close. Um, we think it's doable what we have on the board right now. We think we're going to save a lot of money and we think we're going to have something very presentable in uh, some of the city press. Hopefully by next meeting we will have something. So old new business, we'll just do the council comments and we'll start with you, Dave. I just want to thank all the city employees for all they do, man. This uh, it takes a lot to keep the town going and from top to bottom. And I just want to thank them for what they do. Very lucky. Very lucky. Gary? No. Thank you. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is a, a, a book of banners, the lady uh, that has helped us before. We need, we need some more banners for our poles. We need a winter one, and we also need a spring one. After Christmas, we jump to the 4th of July. We'll put the flag back up, and I, I'm all for the flag, but I think we'll need something in between. And I really would like, and that's in the budget two cents, I really would like to have a fall one. After the fall festival, we go up, uh, we, we're gonna, it doesn't need to be up longer than the first week of October. After that, we need to put the fall one up to get ready for Christmas. Don said this man came through town the other day, and he said, you know, I've never been to but that's a pretty little town. And I'm thinking, I think it's because of what we're doing down town. Oh and I think uh, we need to look at some ideas, and I'd like you to be looking for a winter one, in a spring one. So, um, I think that's it. No. Well, I was going to take a day on the employees and everything, and I will agree with this stuff, Kelly. Um, the town is looking a lot better. What you know, we all been doing the things with plants and everything. It really looks good. It's fabulous here after Christmas. Mm -hmm. 
several years uh, for the once adrenaline committee, uh, the special event committee, we met twice. Uh, once at the armory, I think you saw in the paper, Terry gave us a good ride off. And uh, we were looking at the appliance and furniture for the building, but we don't have any recommendations right now for the whole council. And also for, we also made briefly for, uh, to discuss an application that we're doing for the J.F. Kennedy at your school. Uh, hopefully we get a grant to these historical preservations and uh, we just send a letter of intent to the grant application is going to be before May. But the letter went on and it was a detailed thing, so we hope that we get something there. Oh, that's about it. Uh, I just want to say, if you guys haven't been out to the ball field, go out and uh, look at the shape we're in, part of walking on the field. That, that, they're so nice. Stacy's doing an outstanding job out there. It's, and I tell you, everybody says, it's kind of like walking on carpet out here. It's, it's just a real job they do, and we really do appreciate it. As a matter of fact, they worked on the uh, Coon Hunters uh, Lodge today. They pulled out the uh, old heat and air unit and blocking it back. Rangers was involved with them. And uh, so they, they're getting that done and trying to get that baby to, to store stuff. We're going to have, what, like 2,100 square feet? Stacy, something yeah. like that out there. We've got the store all kinds of stuff in. So it's going to work out. It's going to work out real nice. And by the way, they uh, gave me something about the guy that He's bragging on center, and he's also looking at setting up a business at center. And uh, we got him hooked up with another guy about uh, leasing a, a building to start a business. So that's what well, I see. Don, I want to thank Becky McMeekin and the National Gardeners, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, what they're, they're doing. Well, it is Thursday at 2. I thought it was 3, but he wanted to have very I've got that. Okay. Okay, three o'clock Thursday. Oh, for the master gardeners, the master gardeners are meeting up here in Stacy. They wanted you to come too. Yeah, that's true. Thursday, three o'clock. Um, here we're going to talk about the park. Isn't that what they were talking about? AAA building, and they were worried about us trying to get rid of the building. And I told the lady, we're not doing anything with that building. No, I, I, I've spoken to Don and, and uh, a few others, but I didn't talk to y'all too much about it. Uh, we were talking about painting the, the, the old 200 building, but I would like to actually paint both the buildings. Well, that would be great. To, to I, up and make them look decent. We had discussed that. Yeah. Right. And I got the same. Right. And I also, I mean, I've talked to them, and they're they're in agreement. They're going to send us a letter that if we can, you know, if we can paint the outside and make it look, make yeah. it look nice. Yeah, well, they just the were worried that uh, yeah. so oh. we were getting rid of their building. And I told them, no, we're not doing what they job before she got sick. Uh, send us well before right before you come in. Send us a, a blender and a, the programs they're doing and everything. And I assure her that we are now getting rid of the lake and building. And Do they still uh, meet there? Yes, they meet rarely. They got a good group going right now and it's very, very beneficial. So if somebody asks you, just tell them that no, that is the cool corner a building that you've been working and they were afraid that we were going to get rid of them. Right? Only there to be right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was it. Just they were just really worried about us 
trying to say. Actually, that yard looks like crap, but the city's going to look good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else? Anything else? Make a motion, will you, Jerry? Okay. Thank you, everybody.